In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to decode three different buses on the 5 Series B MSO. With up to eight flexible inputs on the 5 Series B MSO, it's easy to decode serial buses and correlate those communications with signals on other channels to check system timing, power supply sequencing, EMI emissions, or any other system behavior. The 5 Series B MSO has dozens of serial standards available. You can upgrade just the standards you're working with today, or purchase the 5-Pro-Serial option where every available standard is included at a low cost. To see if the standard that you are using is offered, check Help, License Options menu in the Scope User Interface, or review the 5 Series B datasheet on tech.com. Okay, first up is CAN. CAN is a relatively slow bus that uses differential signals to cancel out the high levels of noise present in automotive systems, where it's used most often. I have a passive probe in channel 1 connected to CAN H, and a second passive probe in channel 2 connected to CAN L. Let's use a math calculation to determine the difference between the high and low signals. To add a bus, simply tap Add New Bus. You can see here that we offer decode capabilities for dozens of standards that are used across many industries. Let's change the bus type to CAN for this example. Next, we will select that our CAN signal is differential, that the source is MATH1, and set the threshold to 1 volt. I like seeing both the bus details and the digital waveforms, so I'm going to customize that. For easier visualization, let's group Math1 and Bus1 to see the decoded results and overlay the digital waveforms right on top of the analog waveforms. And now I'll zoom in for more detail. Now we can quickly see if anything is behaving differently than expected. For our second example, we're going to focus on USB. I have channel 3 connected to a USB signal using an active differential probe. Let's make a quick data rate measurement and gate it to this burst to determine if this is a low speed, full speed, or high speed. The measurement gives a data rate of 481 megabits per second. This tells us that this USB bus is operating at high speed. And now, let's add a new bus, and this time, change the bus type to USB. The speed to high, and the source to channel 3. And set the high threshold to 200 millivolts, and the low threshold to negative 200 millivolts. By adding a results table, I can quickly see important information like start times, packet identifiers, and the data. With a double tap, I can add or remove other columns and export this as a CSV. Now I'll set up a SPI bus using an 8-channel logic probe. This implementation of SPI consists of clock, data, and chip select. So we will still have five logic channels available on this probe for other signals. Let's hit Add New Bus, and this time select SPI as our bus type. It's easy to select the logic probe channels as the inputs and configure D4 as the clock, D2 as chip select, and D3 as data. I'm going to group the bus decode with channel 4 so we can again see the hex values right on top of the digital inputs. And I'll increase the record length so we can see a longer acquisition. It looks like we're getting an intermittent burst of data, which I want to isolate. Let's add a bus decode results table to this single acquisition. And I'm seeing that B0 is one of the hex values that comes up right before this big string of data. Let's search on the B0 hex value to find each of the places where this byte shows up.
This pink triangle shows me exactly where B0 is, and it's easy to cycle through each occurrence. I want to isolate this B0 data, so let's copy that search criteria over to my trigger. Letting the scope run again and shortening the acquisition, we're consistently isolating our exact area of interest and can dig into the details here as much as needed. With up to eight flexible inputs on the 5 Series BMSO, it's easy to decode serial buses and correlate these communications with signals on other channels to check system timing, power supply sequencing, EMI emissions, or any other system behavior. The 5 Series B MSO has dozens of serial standards available. You can upgrade just the standards you're working with today, or purchase the 5 Pro Serial option, where every available standard is included at a low cost.